Comment down below if it's okay to put plastic in the microwave. It is. It's safe. Okay. Comment down below if it's okay to feed your fish. Fish. Oh my god, it smells. <laughs> yeah, Florida sprinklers smell kind of bad. <laughs> We're heading up to a trail in Ormond Beach to go hiking. Yeet. Every girl, you have my heart. Bro, they have pina colada? Oh my god. Yeah. Quick breakfast stop, gotta pick up the essentials. Yeah. Makes on a business call. Just kidding, it's Evan. I think I have perfected my coffee making. Three French vanillas, one Irish cream. Oof, slaps. Alright, it's hiking time. Ooh. Oh, you lost I don't them. got him. <laughs> I was half tempted to bring a belly knife down, <laughs> but I didn't. I don't know the trees down here very much. I can I can find out. Whoa, dude! They had handicap parking in the 1800s. So this was a sugar mill, and it was burned during the Seminole War in 1836. They started all this in like the 1820s, and then during the Seminole War, they burned it down. They got ruined. Ruined! This engine operated a large gear that turned the rollers to cross the crane. Crane! Cane. Cane. That's what I meant. Well, 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 what do we have here? It's a well. Well, exact use unknown. Waterboard the... Commies. Can't say it. <laughs> if you're ever going through the woods and wondering why a tree is bent at almost a 90 degree angle, it's because when the tree was a young sapling, some Native American came by, wanted to make this a trail, so he bent the tree as a trail marker for his friends. Well, they even made cane juice here. That's when they took old people's canes after they died and they made juice out of it in order to honor their life. Oh yeah? Yep. Yeah, like I'm I got a little bit of sweat on me, but Ooh, spring house. I can't make it, can you? If you get a running start, you could probably make that. Where's my long jumpers at in the comments? I made it. Yep, just as I expected. Nothing but water. I survived. It's bad that the like you know that the water seeps underneath because there's no way. Unless it's just been accumulating from rain. What? It's a business call. They got a nice swimming pool back uh, here. I accidentally caught Eric on snapping it. Okay. This is actually super cool back here. Ow. We're testing how deep the water is. Yeah, I would assume that the bottom is like right there. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, that's pretty deep. <laughs> I told you, they had a really nice swimming pool back then. This isn't a swimming pool. A bit of off roading action. Oof. I just crap myself. Is that you? Yeah. I take pride in my farts. Oh my goodness. They even had salad dressing back in the 1800s. We made friends. We made some friends. Oh yeah. Gave us some good recommendations for some more exploring spots. Dirty hoe. All on the road again. Nick, on a scale of like one to infinity, how many gators do you think are in this? 60. <laughs> okay. How do you come about 60? I don't know. Okay. This is pretty cool. Gator. If you're gonna go hiking in Florida, make sure you hydrate, bring water, <laughs> hydro flask. And my dad was right. Literally like Florida is just built on sand and shells. I am at the highest point in Florida. Yeah, there was a bridge. Whoa, that's awesome. What is it? Look at the grasshopper guy. Oh, sh 
Yeah. He's huge. So the path's kind of flooded. We're now kind of going down a canal. This trail's flooded, so we're off to find another one now. We maneuvered over to Tiger Bay. This should be fun. Yeah, yeah, he's right dead. Over the snake. He's dead. Oh, that's moving. Yeah, he's dead. No, he hit his head. Ah, it's moving. But he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Nick, it's slithering off. No, it's not. Well, if it is, then I just saved him. Good job. There's something. He's doing something. We definitely hit him now. Oh yeah. We are out in the middle of nowhere, Florida, Tiger Bay. I mean, some people probably know where they are, but I have no idea where the hell I'm at. We're not alone out here, Nick. No, we are not. Might have to kill our dinner. <laughs> See, I don't know about y'all, but uh, tall grass and snakes kind of scare me a little bit, but I'm not a So that's why Nick's here. We had to have our heads down, so... <laughs> oh, that's concerning. We stumbled upon civilization. Where my career? There's a whole... What the heck is this? That's fried chicken. Huh. Yeah, that sounds like for Bane. Oh, the that's propane bottle's leaking. I think it's picnic time. Let's see, what would a responsible adult pack? Peanuts? Oh look, a bunch of crap. See, a responsible adult goes with the Reese Puffs bar. Because obviously peanut butter has protein and it's obviously not full of sugar whatsoever. Hydrate. Always hydrate. Always be hydrating. This is pretty cool. A little safari or something. Welcome to the Disney Jungle Cruise today. We're going through uh, Tiger Bay. Pets turtle. My my tires must be packed with shit. Thank God for all wheel drive, dude. <laughs> Evan would not take his car back here. No, he would not. Yes. <laughs> Do a little uh, battle damage assessment. <laughs> that is so much fun, man. <laughs> yup. <laughs> this was actually a lot of fun. I probably would have made it better if we would have went up. Up this way. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. It's been in time. Creek, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really fast. it's your brother. God, he is hauling it. On this episode of Nick and Justin Mess with Wildlife. Dude, he's hauling it. <laughs> Can I put the turtle in our bathtub? <laughs> Getting back just in the nick of time. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's not gonna help, Nick. It's doing a little bit better than what doing nothing would. That's true. Good thing we got a storm coming, huh? Yeah. I hope the new students and parents enjoy my short shorts. I just wanted to say how nice it is to be back on campus. We have probably one of the most beautiful campuses in Florida. Yeehaw! This is the emptiest you will ever see this parking lot. Goodness! This is the one and only time that you will see Nick and I get somewhere before Evan. Evan's always on time. You're eating, we're about to go run! He's not always on time. He's late! <laughs> I bet y'all didn't know about Emery Riddle's trampoline park. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. Mr. Tardy Pants. We're always late, that's why this is funny. <laughs> Nick just drank so, a whole Coke and we're about to go exercise. I am uh... a... <laughs> solid run with the boys. We're out here making huge gains under the sunset. Beautiful. Palm tree sunsets are where it's at. My favorite stretch? The calf stretch. Uh, yeah. Guess what I just learned I can do? Uh, Guess what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, 
after 25 minutes, we finally picked a freaking movie. It's American Assassin time. We switched to the Patriots, those movies for boys. So Nick's still off on a hose on the side of the building at Chanute. He's gonna have the cleanest car on campus. This campus safety comes pulling up. There's a penis on the ground. Oh yeah? Right when we start our car wash at about 1.40 this morning. So I guess they're having a rav outside of the... God, you mean a rave? Yeah. All the clubs in Daytona are closed, so I guess they're having a rave over at uh, BP. 